iambic pentameter, trochaic hexameter. Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Are these literary terms, iambic pentameter, trochaic hexameter, sounds Greek to you? If yes, then don't worry, we'll be exploring all these terms in our video today so that by the end of this video, you will have crystal clear clarity about all the literary meters, what it means to be called as iambic pentameter, how is a poem written in iambic pentameter differs from a poem written in trochaic hexameter. We'll be exploring all these terms in our video today. But before that, let me give you an example of two very famous poetry and let us see how these two poems differ from each other. The first poem is Tiger Tiger by William Blake and the poem begins with Tiger Tiger burning bright in the forest of the night. The second poem is Break 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 by Lord Alfred Tennyson and the poem begins with Break 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 on thy cold grey stones O sea and I would that my tongue could utter the thoughts that arise in me. Now let's see how these two poems are different from each other. The first poem we find that it rhymes, the words, the ending words rhyme. Rhyme is repetition of sounds in two words like can and man, gold and hold. So these are rhyming words. You can relate it when we were rhymes for the day, nursery rhymes. So all those nursery rhymes have words to last me similar sound ke hote the jaise twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder who you are so r and star these are rhyming words so in the first poem by uh, william blake tiger tiger burning bright in the forest of the night so bright and night are rhyming words in the second poem we find that the words don't rhyme so how does that poem differs from poetry because ek poem ko poem hone ke liye hame aisa lagta tha hamesha rhyme ki zarurat hai if a poem rhymes then that is poem agar wo rhyme nahi karti then how does that sound very musical so that is what meter is meter or rhythm we have rhyme and we have rhythm these are the two components which give musical quality to a poem so if we talk about rhythm rhythm and meter are one and the same thing and meter is the one uh, which gives musical sound to a piece. Koi bhi musical uh, piece aap sunte hai, koi song sunte hai, toh aap dekhte hai wapay uh, lines rhyme nahi karti. Koi bhi Bollywood ya English song aap sunye hai, toh aap dekhenge ki lines rhyme nahi kar rhi hai. But still they have a beat, the da 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 da, this kind of effect is there in the poetry. That comes from rhythm. So, We'll be talking about rhythm in detail in this video because rhythm say he later you will come to know what is iambic pentameter, what is trochaic hexameter and what are the other meters in the poetry and how these meters affect the tone and the musical quality of the poetry. So let's start. Now in order to understand rhythm ya meter we need to first look at the poetry structure, how a poem is composed. So if you see any poem, the poem has lines. Okay, so we have lines. Each line has foot and foot are made up of syllable. So we have lines which is made up of foot. Foot is made up of syllables. Now lines we all know so I don't need to explain that. But in this video I'll be talking about syllables and foot. And syllables and foot ke combinations in different tariki rhythm bandi hai. We have iambic pentameter which uses another type of foot. Uh, we have trochaic hexameter which uses another type of foot. So let's first understand syllable, then we'll be understanding foot and then at the end we'll see how different kind of foot uh, combine together to make different kind of poetic meters. So let's start with syllable first. Syllable is a sound in a word, okay? Kai words hote hain jin mein ek syllable hota hai. Jaise sleep, sleep, ek saad bola jata hai, sleep. So it has one syllable. Then we have words like thank you. It has two syllables. Thank you. Two syllables. Ek word ke andar bhi bohat sare syllable ho sakte hai. Jaise guitar. Guitar. Do sound nikalte hai jab hum guitar bolte hai. Guitar. 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 So two syllables. Amazing. Three syllables. Amazing. Amazing. Whenever we say that amazing. Teen sounds nikal rahe. Amazing. Understand. Understand, understand. Three syllables again. 
सो एक वर्ड के अंदर दो तीन चार कितने भी सिलेबल्स हो सकते हैं डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द साउंड जितने साउंड उस वर्ड में कंटेन है सो वी हैव लुक्ड एट सिलेबल वी कैन हैव वन सिलेबल टू सिलेबल थ्री सिलेबल इन अ सिंगल वर्ड नाउ लेट्स लुक एट वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ सिलेबल्स वी हैव स्ट्रॉन्ग सिलेबल एंड वीक सिलेबल स्ट्रॉन्ग सिलेबल्स आर वर्ड्स और साउंड जो थोड़े से ज्यादा तेज बोले जाते हैं जैसे गिटार गिटार वर्ड में टार इज मोर लाउड देन गी गिटार लाउडर टार इज लाउडर देन गी सो दैट मेक्स टार एज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग सिलेबल एंड गी एज अ वीक सिलेबल सो इट्स अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ गिटार वन वीक सिलेबल फॉलोड बाय अ स्ट्रॉन्ग सिलेबल स्ट्रॉन्ग सिलेबल को हमेशा बोल्ड में डिनोट किया जाता है सिमिलरली वी कैन हैव अ फ्रेज टू स्लीप to sleep two words two syllables two is lesser pronounced hum aise nahi bolte to sleep we said to sleep upar ki taraf jata hai to thoda sa dheere hota hai dheere dheere sleep thoda sa upar hota hai to to sleep weak syllable followed by a strong syllable thank you thank you nahi bolte hum thank you thank is a strong syllable you is a weak syllable so ab aap dekhenge guitar mein a weak syllable followed by a strong syllable then we have thank you a strong syllable followed by a weak syllable so is tarah ke combinations hote hain now let's look at foot foot is a group of strong and weak syllable or a combination of strong and weak syllable humne dekha syllables make foot and foot makes a line so syllable is single sound guitar has two syllables now if we take a word sleep it has one syllable guitar and sleep will together come under the category of foot to sleep will become a foot it contains one weak syllable and one strong syllable similarly we have guitar guitar itself is a foot because we have a weak syllable followed by a strong syllable now let's look at com some common type of foot first one is i am i am is a kind of foot in which we have one weak syllable followed by one strong syllable like guitar to sleep we have second example of foot uh, which is chokey chokey is a kind of foot which has one strong syllable followed by one weak syllable uh, example baseball thank you third type of uh, foot is called anapest it has two weak syllable followed by one strong syllable example uh, understand in the dark in the dark three syllables understand three syllables then we have uh, anapest ke baad mein the fourth kind of foot is dictyle dictyle has two strong syllable followed by one weak syllable example this is a this is a strong syllable is a is a two weak syllable camera camera three syllables in a single word then we have other common types of foot we have spondy which has two strong syllable we have another phyric which has two weak syllable so these are some common types of foot uh, now let's look at number of foot in one line because humne dekha syllables will combine to form foot foot will combine to form a line so let's take example of a very famous line from shakespearean sonnet shall i compare thee to a summer's day and now let's see how many feet are there in this line shall i is one foot shall i two sounds combination of a weak syllable followed by a strong syllable shall i compare apne aap mein ek foot hai compare com is a weak syllable followed by a strong syllable so now if we summarize we we'll find out that rhythm consists of meter and meter is dependent upon two factors in a poem number of feet in one line and type of foot so type of foot and number of feet these two things will combine to determine the meter of that poem let's take example of some common poetry and see how the meter differs from each other the first kind of poem is iambic pentameter we've just seen the example shall i compare thee to a summer's day iambic because it has a strong uh, weak syllable followed by a strong syllable pentameter because it has a total 5 feet in one line now let's take another example iambic tetrameter from the uh, poem by emily dickinson i heard a fly buzz when i died 
So I heard of libers when I died. In this poem, we have iambic meter because it has a weak syllable followed by a strong syllable. Also, it has four feet in one line, so we, it will have tetrameter and not pentameter. The third kind of poetry is trochaic tetrameter. Trochi, as we know, is a strong syllable followed by a weak syllable. And tetrameter is having four feet in one line. Example is piping down the valleys wide, piping songs of pleasant glee. So if we look at these two lines, we'll find that each line has a strong syllable followed by a weak syllable. Piping down. Now understand one more thing that strong and weak syllable we identify as a karte kai words hote hain jo bole hi thode se tez jate hain piping down is uh, foot ko agar aap piping down bolenge it will not sound nice to the ears okay piping down piping down the word is coming piping pe zyada focus hai down pe kam hai so it has a strong syllable followed by a weak syllable shall i shall i shall i shall i nahi bolte hum shall i Piping down, so strong syllable followed by a weak syllable. So trochaic tetrameter may we see that we have a strong syllable followed by a weak syllable. Second criteria is tetrameter, four feet in one line. Piping down the valleys wild, piping song of pleasant glee. Each line has four feet. So this is how meter develops in any poem. We also have so many things to discuss when it comes to rhyme because rhyme is not as simple as man and can. It has so many other things, exact rhyme, feminine rhyme, masculine rhyme, approximate rhyme. We cover all these things in my online course. You can go to my website www.arpitakarva.com. You'll find a list of all the important literary terms, devices, writers, topics that I cover in my online course. You can see the list. If you like the uh, kind of course I'm providing, you can definitely join my online audio course and prepare for UGC NET in a revolutionary way. You can also follow me on Facebook, Telegram, WhatsApp and Instagram because I post a GoNet quiz every day on these social media wherein you can see what kind of questions are being asked in NET exam. Also, if you like this video, then do give the, it a thumbs up. Subscribe this channel and share this with other net aspirants. If you have any questions, any doubt, if you have anything to share with us, then do write that in the comment section below. So till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature.